Social media is helping to drive an upswing in television ratings as viewers share comments on events like the Olympics or Oscars as they happen. As one of this year's TR10 innovators, Marie-José Montpetit is helping companies like BT develop better ways to integrate social media with television. We asked her about how our system works and what benefits it might bring to viewers. Uh, I'm Marie-José Montpetit. I work in the research lab for electronics here at MIT with um, Muriel Medard and her team. Uh, I focus a lot on the future of video uh, from transmission to uh, consumption. And this is how I got into social television. I teach that class at the Media Lab with my colleague Henry Holtzman. Um, what social television is going to be is actually, in, in the future, a lot of people see social television at, as something new. Well, it's interesting to say that television's always been social. And I think what is going to be the main difference between if you have an idea what social television is now, which is like a little bit like, I have examples uh, on the screen where you basically text to your television and it's still very much about the use of a remote control and a TV screen. I think what is going to be fascinating in the next few years is that the social TV will get out of just not being just about a television and a remote control, but will involve this ecosystem of things. Already now, people are watching TV where they're Twittering. So they exchange with their friends on Twitter, on their phones, or on their PCs. This is social television in a way. It's disconnected from the, the actual content, but it is social television. And I think this is the way it's going to go. Like you're going to interact with the content on your TV, but with a uh, another device. And so again, you're creating this ecosystem. And I think this is what we are trying to do in our, in our class to show that social television will not just be about people being socialized, but also devices being social and even networks being social, which is the, the research we do here in this department. I think a lot of people recently have uh, declared television is dead. Um, and I think in a way this rise of the social television uh, basically makes a phoenix out of television. Um, it is well known now there's more people watching content when they can interact with their friends watching it. So I think in a way for both the people who produce what I would say TV content, which I would describe as content which is not a movie but is made for consumption by a fairly large amount of people, um, the fact that you can interact, the fact that there is a social aspect to it, the fact that you can uh, rate it, that you can uh, interact with it, even to the level of uh, impacting the um, actual events that are happening on the content, um, that is actually creating a new TV. So TV is not dead. I think it's changing. And I think this is what this whole thing of social TV makes it so uh, interesting and at the same time creates a, a new TV that is social, hence social TV is important. Uh, there was work done at the Communications Future program here, and we kind of figured out that if you start having interaction at many levels in the shows, and now you could have the capability of even cutting pieces of the shows you like and send them to your friends and say, look, this is what I liked. Well, then people could actually measure how the content is being uh, watched and which pieces are very interesting. And actually, this is a poster here, which is one of my students. And he actually looked at that, and it's along a show. Which are the pieces that are the most watched? And that would in probably influence some of the content people. But I think beyond that, that. We had a presentation in our class yesterday uh, from uh, Professor Pablo Caesar from CWI in ne the Netherlands, and his thing is about um, even interacting directly with the people on the screen. So he has a clip of a show it was amazing from uh, f the Finland where people were texting what they wanted to the actors to do on the show, and that was happening based on what people were sending. So the um, the whole aspect of how content is produced when you know that people have a strong impact on it or that you want to get people involved as if these characters were really part of your friends or part of your uh, own circle of interact interactions, social interactions, I think it's going to invest, you know, there has to be something there that's going to be very interesting for people. I think if I put myself in the uh, hands of the or in the mindset of an operator, I would say that what will make money out of uh, um, social TV is to actually have people keep being their customers. Um, if you want to enable uh, 
some kind of interactivity where people are watching a show on one screen using you know another device like like this one well maybe you want to subscribe to a special service uh, of the operator that would uh, allow you to download an application but then brings traffic to them and then they could keep their relationship with their advertisers um, so and I think that a lot of the innovation that's going to happen in this field in the next few years uh, besides the fact that we're looking at new ways to supply the content in the network there's going to be a lot of innovation in the business cases because now that you have all these things connected you know you have this, these networks that are connected you have these devices that are connected you have these people that are connected and so it creates this very nice framework to define probably very nice business cases that probably none of us knows of right now and that I think I'm, I'm actually looking forward to hear about them.